What up guys, we're back at it with some Fable the Lost Chapters, and this of course is my retrospective playthrough where I kind of just play the game and see how it holds up in the year 2022. Anyway, in the last video we just got done doing the White Balvering quest, which means that they probably want us to do the fucking arena next, and I'm hoping that there's at least something to do before we just go jumping into that. Nope, just the arena. Hmm. It's just, I don't really feel like we're actually ready for the arena. So what I'm thinking, actually, is we might as well go do some training somewhere. And the best place to do it is the Great House. I guess also, like, theoretically at this point, we might as well get the Solus Great Sword. I mean, like, we're about to do the arena. I mean, might as well have it. Just to do that little bit of extra damage. I think there is, like, a potion in here or something that I can uh, probably use. Like a strength or a skill or a something or the other. There's skill. I could have sworn there was also like a strength one in here too, but maybe not. Fucking will, that's what it is. I'm gonna go back to Barrow Fields because they don't spawn yet. Oh, do I even have the summoner dudes yet? How could I possibly not have the summoner dudes? Our renown level really that fucked right now? Yeah, I was gonna say though, I don't know why they didn't have a combat multiplier system in Fable 2 or 3. It was like a pretty nice system. It's like, if you're good enough at the game, you have to do less work, right? Like. You just literally get more experience for your kills if you're good enough. And you know what I probably should do? I probably have rent to collect. It's the absolutely embarrassing amount of money. It's despicable, honestly. It's just like there's no convenient way of doing this either. Who the fuck is this? Hey, over here. You know? I can't even lie. I don't think I've ever done this before. Ah, it's you, chicken chaser. We could use the help of a hero. Of course, I was hoping for someone like Thunder to come along. But, well, a nasty-looking character like you might... We've been tracking a well-known assassin. Mm. A real vicious... Of course, we'd never be able to get in, but... Uh, don't worry, though. This is more about vengeance than the law. There's 1,000 gold waiting mm. for you. Well... I can't say I tr but either you'll get the assassin, or he'll get you. He'll get your money when that butcher is dead. Okay. Well, that's an interesting one. I don't think I've ever done that one before. I didn't even know that existed. Honestly, that makes me wonder, like, how many green dots I've been missing in Fable. I mean, if we're being quite frank, there's a lot of green dots on the screen right now. If every single one of those is a quest... I honestly don't know if I've done them all. And that's the other nice thing, too, is that this game not only has, like, actual quests, but it has, like, kind of hidden side quests. I guess you'd call them the bronze quests, really. There's, like, the gold, silver, and bronze, right? Like, the gold and silver quests are, like, quests that you actually get from the guild. The gold quests being, like, actually important quests. The silver quests being optional quests. And then you have, like, the super miscellaneous quests that, like, just kind of appear randomly throughout the world. And I guess those are technically the bronze quests. I don't know how you would technically call those. Hmm. Like the look of this one. Here we go. Hey. I've got my eye on you. Oh, nice, that was easy. I'm so touched. That makes you a true hero. I guess we're getting married. I reckon we should tie the knot. Tie the knot. And so the hero? Married. And so the hero married. Two Tao? Damn, it's not even that bad. Girl in Albion to have married you. Yeah, for now you are. For now you are. Oh god, money's already back. I can't handle this, I really can't. I guess I guess we'll just go fucking get this assassin dude, because Yeah, I'm never gonna collect all of the money at this rate, that's for sure. But I definitely feel like for the most part that this fable has like the best quests out of all the games. Like I don't remember anything in Fable 2 being like really something to write home about. I do remember Fable 3 having like at least some like pretty quirky and funny quests, but like as far as just like being a good quest goes, like Fable had more quests that were just good quests, you know what I mean? Why do I feel like I have the option to do either one? You haven't seen a group of guards around here, have you? Of course. Big good god. My own brother wanted to kill mm. me. I know we haven't always got on. I mean, he joined the blood, but we're still brothers. He doesn't even offer me like a counter offer. I was thinking at the very least, he'd be like, Oh, I'll give you 2,000 gold if you kill the guard. It almost feels like there's supposed to be some sort of component there. We just ain't quite doing it, chief. Hey, put that weapon away. Oh, look at that. So I guess I'll just flip a coin or something, because I can't make these decisions alone. How about heads? We go ahead and do what we were doing. Tails, we kill the guard. 
Good god, we're killing the guard. Okie dokie. This is gonna be fine. We're gonna get kicked out of Oakvale again, but it's okay. I swear to god, if this just goes like back and forth, like, I'll give you 4,000 to kill that assassin. Oh, I'll give you 8,000 to kill that guard. I'll give you 16,000 to kill that assassin. You think he got him, boss? <laughs> Not a chance. My brother's been a dagger in my backside since we were. You were always my mother's favorite, too. Oh, I'm sure he's a very nice assassin, too. What? You could learn a lot from him, you could. Still, it's not nice, is it? Wanting your brother dead. Who the hell asked you? I'd rip his throat out with my own hands if I had a chance. He's brought nothing but disgrace in my family. I'll be damned if I'm letting him get it. Well, well. Look who's co So, he's paid you more to kill us. I should have known. I guess this means we get to... Who said guards? These are guards. I'm already fighting the guards that you speak of. I don't know what... Know what the fucking problem is here. This guy's fucking strong. I'm not even gonna lie. How is this not, like, just straight up killing him, honestly? Is it... Wait, against the law, I'm just doing what I was told to do. So let me, let me get, I get paid 2,000 gold to kill somebody, and I still get in trouble for it? I guess this is how we're doing our training in this video. Speaking of doing evil things, I don't think they give you horns in Fable 2 or 3. But not like when it's like, oh, angelic suit or, like, the demonic suit at the end of the game. I think maybe there's some horns involved there, I don't know. But like there's no like I don't think there's like actually a system of like oh you did a bunch of evil stuff and you're slowly growing horns like I don't remember that being a thing in Fable 3 or 2 maybe I just wasn't evil enough who knows but like I'm pretty sure that wasn't a thing what's up babe oh come on I thought we were cool babe oh she's already betting I have another woman that means I need to go get myself another woman what did I do to you what did I do what, you want a fucking what do you want a fucking cookie or some shit bitch what, what have I done to you, honestly? Oh, fuck you, bitch. Yeah, who got a fucking divorce now, you stupid slut? I'm still trying to figure out how she filed for a divorce when she was standing right there the whole time, but you know, whatever. Honestly, though, what a fucking bitch. Still treating me bad. Well, I didn't do anything to you, but okay. You want to get married now that my wife is out of the picture? She said, oh, all right. I guess I'll catch you some other time when I'm not busy. Honestly, this was probably like one of my favorite things to do in this game back in the day was straight up just come to town and fucking kill everybody. I mean, I just remembered we're supposed to be like talking to this guy. That's right. We still haven't even gotten our money for killing the guard yet. Uh. Uh. Why do I feel like I didn't get money for that? It's honestly some booty, bro. Sucks. This really is just like a completely mediocre way to kill guards. Or to make experience, rather. Not whole Glade has a slightly better layout. I think it'll be better for killing guards, honestly. Plus, they start out as red guards, so... That's honestly a benefit. I also definitely feel like the guards gave more of a shit in the first Fable. Like, I know in Fable 3, you're like, you know, the king or the queen or whatever, right? So, like, the guards, they're kind of like a conflict of interest situation going on there. But still, it's like, it's pretty lame that, like, they kind of made killing sprees a little bit less enjoyable. Used to be like, oh, you go on a killing spree, like, the guards definitely get mad. They all start attacking you. If you kill too many guards and they literally, like, get bigger in the upgrade and they send out, like, the, the SEAL Team 6 on your ass, essentially. Oh, the Fist Fighter arena thing was pretty cool, too. I don't think they had that in Fable 2 or 3, either. They might have, and I just don't know, but, like, I'm pretty sure they didn't. And as much as the real estate in Fable sucks, I do actually kind of enjoy the simplicity of the housing system in Fable 1. For some reason, the houses in Fable 3 and Fable 2 always just kind of seemed a bit confusing. Like, like there's some component to them that's, like, extra, and, like, I gotta, like, figure out, and it's like, eh. It's not like it's, like, required to figure out the extra components, like the wallpapers and the decorations and this stuff, but it's, like... Good god, it's like its own fucking mini game. It's just like unnecessary in my opinion. Eh, let's get the fuck out of here. What if we can actually afford anything decent? Honestly, that shit fucking sucks. So real quick, I kind of just want to take care of this. Um, might as well. Alright. Guys, 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 wait, wait, wait. It's probably good enough. Let's hope we can push this guy far enough. 
I guess he gets the I guess he gets the lamp post this time because I can't push him anywhere else. Just gotta remember not to walk back out through there. Now the real question is, do I actually have enough money? Oh yeah, I do. I got a hell of fucking money. Hug the right, and we might just get through. Nice. Well, actually, you know what else I might as well do? Wow, this motherfucker doesn't have shit. All right, we're fucking ready for the arena, I guess. Anyway, I think that's about it for this video. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. It definitely helps me out. And if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to this channel if you want to check out any more of this content or any of my other gaming content for that matter. And of course, as always, for as little as 99 cents a month, you can become a channel member, help support this channel monetarily, help me pay some bills around here, that sort of thing. Yeah, that being said, I've been Plock the Master Gamer with some Fable Lost Chapters, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.